chances are if you operate portable or with low power, maybe not portable, but just use some kind of low power, maybe even 100 watts, and uh, you're uh, chasing some uh, some great DX uh, signals, you run into this. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. Well, don't get frustrated and don't worry. I mean, if Danny the DX Dominator is out there with one and a half kilowatts and his uh, super awesome uh, antenna farm full of beams or whatever is stepping around you or over you and, uh, and you just can't seem to make that contact, there is a way. And I want to show you how. Stick around. Hey guys, I, I operate a lot of portable and uh, with low power, sometimes QRP, sometimes 20 watts or whatever, maybe even sometimes 100. And I'm more of a hunter. I like to go out and chase DX. I like to go look for signals and listen for people calling uh, calling CQ. And uh, yeah, it's it can be frustrating at times, but I've kind of learned a, a, a few techniques to uh, to get through a pileup, especially when you're uh, at very low power. I kind of want to share them with you. And um, especially you new guys that are just getting out and getting started, don't get frustrated. Just don't think that you can't get through. There is a way. The way is, is to kind of listen listen to the guy calling CQ, listen through the pileup, and listen to the rhythm of the pileup. A lot of guys are real experienced. They'll, they'll take the first call right away. And then, you know, you have to be quick to get in there. And sometimes that just takes patience. Most of the time, and I've found that guys will listen, you'll hear the pileup, and it's always the last three letters that are, are the guy that makes the contact. You know, you'll hear four or five different ones, and I can pick them out and hear the call signs, but whoever was last usually gets picked. So what sometimes I'll do is I'll just kind of let everybody go and then try to be towards the end of the pileup. But here's a good trick and one that works for me quite well is you make a call, let off the mic. If you hear people are still going to town, call again. Do two times real quick and uh and this will happen. Kilo four Oscar golf Oscar. Kilo four Oscar golf Oscar. Oscar now, I know some of you are going, wow, that was rude. You stepped all over them. You know they were calling. Hey, look at it this way. They, if you hear them, they have to hear you. And they had to have heard you call first and then come over top of you. So all fair game in a pileup like that. I do, uh, I don't want to say not to be, uh, it, it, be a good guy. Be a good ham. Use etiquette on this. But, you know, you're fighting your way through a pileup with low power. You got to use every technique you can. Um, what I usually do, though, to really d do things right is I will sit and wait. When I hear a conversation going on, I will wait for the operator to say QRZ after the end of it. A lot of people won't, and that's frustrating for me when you're sitting there. Um, you'll hear him. You can't hear the guy on the other end. You'll hear him talk, and then he still, he'll still he say, okay, 73, and you know the other guy's coming back with a you know goodbye, close out 73 or whatever, but other people will start piling on. A good operator won't answer. A good operator will finish the conversation with that guy and then say QRZ. And you got to listen to that. If this guy is continually not doing it, then, you know, you have to do what other people are doing. I don't do that usually. I'll get frustrated and just leave and say, okay, I'm not going to get that contact. While we're on that top subject of getting frustrated or whatever, don't get frustrated. If you're struggling and struggling and it can't get through, you know what I do? Jot down what frequency you were on. Go hunt other people. Come back that, back later, a few minutes later, or whatever. Keep checking because a lot of times that pileup will start thinning out. It'll make it a little bit easier for you to uh, to break through. But um, I, I'll tell you what. There's really, I feel like when I'm QRP or low power, there's not a pileup I can't break. I can get through, but it takes a lot of patience, a lot of time, a lot of rhythm, getting the rhythm of uh, how things are going and persistence, just keep going. Um, it is rewarding. I know a lot of guys, uh, you know, will say, hey, you just need more power. It's rewarding to break, you know, bust a pileup. You know, I had, uh, I've gotten through and people can't believe that I'm low power and they go, holy cow, you are uh, coming in gangbusters over everybody else. That's another subject, another topic of uh, of what power does or what what have you. But um, yeah, it's uh, it, it works and uh, and you can get through. Now, controversial subject that um, 
I have some different opinions on this than a lot of other people's do. Um, Callum, a DX commander, he really does not like people using Q, uh, QRP at the end of their call signs. I've kind of limited to that, and I, I, I kind of understand his frustration a bit. But if people can say mobile or portable at the end of their call sign, why can't they say QRP? I don't do it all the time, and it does bother me when someone continuously, every time they make a call, is their call and then QRP, their call and then QRP. But sometimes this is a good technique to use. A lot of times if you can't get through a pileup and you keep trying and trying, then I will go, you know, just once in a while, I'll go Kilo 4, Oscar Golf Oscar, QRP. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf Oscar, QRP. It's a killer pee, little guy. Somebody please, it's a killer pee. Go ahead. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf Oscar, QRP. Okay, Kilo 4, Oscar Golf Oscar, what did it correct? Yes, K4OGO, that is correct. I'm 5 watts QRP on the beach in Virginia Beach, Virginia, on the Atlantic. Roger, Roger, Walter, wow, man. Uh, my friend, also, you are 55, 55, 55, just to report in Costa Rica. Roger, Roger, you're 5'8", five 5'8", eight, five eight here in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Roger, Roger, thank you for 5'8", my friend, 73. 73, thank you for the contact. And there you go, a classic example of how you can break through a pileup using QRP. Like I said, I don't have a problem with it. I have a problem with people that continuously do it every time they're calling. Look, that can, you know, I, I understand where Callum's coming from on that, but I also understand that it's there and it helps you get through a pileup. I've broken through pileups knowing that I was in the crowd, but when I use QRP at the end of my, um, at my call, you know, hey, there was a good operator on the other end and he gave me a chance that knowing that it would be harder for me than others. Some operators and very good operators will also call QRP only while they're in the middle. If they got a big pileup and, uh, and they know there's a lot of people out there, a really good operator will call QRP only or mobile only or QRP only and, uh, and, and give you a chance. P or mobile, mobile or QRP? Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf Oscar, QRP. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Laura. I'm five watts QRP on the beach. You're five nine. Solid signal. Good to hear you tonight. I've got the uh, slide winder coil with the uh, HF collapsible whip, and I'm using the uh, little uh, USDX uh, five watt transceiver on battery. Great, congratulations, Laura. Congratulations. Have a lot of fun. Kilo 4 Ocean Golf Ocean. IK4GRO. Okay, QRP. Okay, 5 watts. Congratulations. Ciao, Laura. Ciao, Laura. IK4GRO. Laura, he is a great operator. I've worked him quite a few times. If you've operated a lot here in the States, especially, uh, you know, looking, hunting for DX, uh, you've probably worked him, and he is a very, very great operator. And you can see he he takes the time in the middle of his pileups and, and calls for QRP only. Anyway, I hope I encouraged you to uh, to get out there and, and just try to break some pileups. It's a great experience. You get more experienced at it, and you get better at it by doing it. And like I said, it's all about learning timing. Um, and usually, if you've got a decent antenna, even with low power, and you're in the right situation. I've found that if, uh, if you can hear somebody, they can probably hear you. A lot of those big DX stations, um, they have, uh, they're doing the, I say the heavy lifting if you're low power. Those big antennas and all that power that they're shooting your way, well, they're hearing really well with those big antennas as well and picking you up. And a lot of times people don't realize that when they're like, wow, QRP. And as I always say, I say it a lot of times to guys that get me, I'm like, hey, that antenna you have is doing the heavy lifting. Thank you for picking me out of the crowd for sure. But anyway, like I said, get out and try it. Do some hunting and... um and you may be surprised with just a little bit of patience and persistence, some of the contacts you may you can make if you just hang in there and stick with it. Anyway, hey, if you like uh, you, you like this type of stuff, you like talking about operating, you like antennas, um, QRP, low power, uh, portable, mostly uh, sideband stuff uh, for uh, for ham radio. Please like and subscribe, or hey, uh, become a member of the channel. Until next time, I'm Walt K4 OGO 73, my friends.